Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from the Moz Anomalies channel, back with you at uh, Mount Shop, or as Mount Garbage as I like to call it. Um, we're back at the south side of uh, Mount Shop, and I can tell you, for some reason, they keep changing the way this looks. It's like the manipulations and stuff like that, it just keeps changing. And, I, and I've been telling you guys that it appears like they're vehicles of some sort. Uh, we can even call them structures, for that matter. Um, at least in the past pictures, that's what they look like. Um, well... I just found the latest one, which is 520. Um, I'm sorry, 510. No, I'm, it is 520. I was right. Um, uh, anyway, they've been doing... I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's like from one day to the next. It's like they're changing these things up. Like I showed you on the uh, about the cars on the road uh, kind of thing, where they change from, like, it was like uh, you know, 510 to 515, I think it was, totally two different pitches of what looked like those cars on there. So it's it's crazy how they do this stuff. But again, this picture is no different. And I wanted to just keep you updated and let you know what was going on. Um, but you guys can tell me these again look like vehicles. And I'm going to show you a comp I'm going to show you a comparison. Um, I'm going to show you a comparison on this. And you're just going to go, what is that? Why is it so different? Um, one picture there, It's uh, you can find this. I mean, it's on NASA. It's on this. I think this is a different page that I'll have it on. But let me show you what I've got. Okay. On the right is... <clears throat> you know, Mount Shop. It's like the eastern side of it, or I'm sorry, the southern side of it, or call it the east part of it, uh, right side, call it what you like. All right. On the right side one, it looked like that, this is the one that people used to call the road. Um, in fact, uh, I think I've called it that a while back. Um, in this picture, this is the one from five tw uh, 520, and you can see up in here, here's that little road, okay? I don't think it's a road. And, and I've been saying that. It's some kind of weird... To me now, it's starting to look like the railing of that other car. That other roadway or part of that roadway. Now, just look at the one that compares on the right. You can see where my cursor is here. You can see just what looks like mountains. And you go, well, dude, they're mountains. Okay. What's on the left-hand side and why does that look so much different? And in fact, I'm going to jump in here a little bit for you. Now, it'll probably go a little, you know, uh, grainy, but that's okay. Here's that what looks like supposed to be that roadway. And here it is right here. Now I can jump into that one too. Look how totally different that looks. But on the right hand side one, I want to show you this. To me, guys, this from this edge right here, this lower edge in the foreground, this is real. That's all fake. Or at least it's been doctrine up. And you can see this. If you don't believe that looks like it's doctrine up, there's something wrong, man. You, you're just not seeing it clearly here because this here is more realistic. Now, whether it's faked or not, it still doesn't matter. It's still more realistic. It looks more realistic. To the back, it looks like cartoonish is the term I like to use. Okay, so again, left one it shows like that. What looks like that used to be a road, and the same thing on on the right hand picture. Look right here at this cursor. And the reason why I say this is like this is like fill. I, I use the term this is filling. Take this area right here and drag it over to this one. That's how close this stuff really is. They give you this impression that this is so far away. It's not. Okay. Now, I said there's been cars on hand. It looks like there's cars in this area. Okay. Watch this. Um, keep the same scheme and get off the screen. Um, right here. Why does it look like a top of a vehicle? Right here. Comes up, goes across, goes down. Looks like separations from front and rear window. Anyway, it goes across and goes down. That doesn't look like a rock structure to me. It just doesn't. There's a lot of similarities, too. If you look at this right here in the background, it's, it, it's weird. It's, it's like if you see this up close. Now, I've, now I've, if you go to my uh, videos, Mount Shop, not, not what you think it is, um, I think it's either the second or third pot. I show this right here. It looks like the front of a jet, for crying out loud. It just doesn't look right or some kind of vehicle or something. But look at the left picture. It's right here at the top. So that pot is still in the picture. Same thing with this one. Okay. Now, you can see it right here in the lower part in the left picture right there. Just below what I said, it looks like some kind of vehicle or jet, front of a jet or some weird thing. But see how it's got this weird thing right here? Okay. This is about in the same spot, but it looks like some kind of weird vehicle sticking out of the ground. Well, this, I believe, is a railing. And you can see, like, there's different parts of it where they go down to the ground. Now, it's crazy. This whole area is so doctored up, it changes from one day to the next. But... How much it changes is not all that much as far as what I've been showing you, like vehicles being up here or something like that. Now, um, so it looks like there's something here in the back, and you can see that. See how they, so you go, people go, oh, it's a mountain. Okay, well, this don't look like a mountain to me on the left picture. There's something here. 
and you can see what looks like a bunch of shapes in here. They don't look like this here. They just don't. They don't look anything like that. All right here does not look like this. Okay. Now, this is what I found, and you guys can tell me. I believe these are vehicles. They look that way to me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and rectangle it off and equalize it. Now, I'm already starting to see shapes and, you know, 90 degree angles and stuff like that. And it's, you know, yeah. Okay. Blur it up. You start to see what, you know, and I'm going, oh, I'm just seeing all these weird shapes, and I'm going, I can't make heads or tails of this. Well, you do if you actually just stop and look at the way these things are made. Um, if you think about the typical car, it, you can pick these out pretty easy. Because at first, I'm looking at them going, this looks like a bunch of clustered things thrown together. Well, it still does, but I, I was able to look at this thing, and I'm just going, wow, there's multiple cars in here. Um, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. There's like seven or eight vehicles in here. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Whoop, my bad. Um, let's sharpen it up. All right, if you look carefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and oh, let's do this first. Let's just get rid of this picture. We don't really need this here anyway. Let's let's blow this up here a little bit. Okay. If you look right here, there's something right here. It's flat. Okay, and it goes across. Now a lot of this has been been manipulated, so it's really hard to see this stuff, but. Right here, there's a car. You can see the back wheel and just barely the front wheel right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Now, this is what's, what's funny. I had a couple people, uh, well, a couple people have said, you know what it looks like? It looks like a typical junkyard. And you know what? They could be absolutely correct. I don't know. I'm sticking to the, to the, the idea that this was some kind of major cataclysmic thing and the car just... I mean, just like I said, I mean, if you picture going down the road, um, uh, let me see. Uh, hi guys, sorry about that. that. Was my cell phone? I should know better. I forgot it was. I thought it was on silent. But anyway, so like I said, these these up here, there's one here, and again, these guys, like I said, getting back to what they were saying, they were saying that you know it could be a junkyard, and they could very well be right, but. Most junkyards, I'm not saying all, but most junkyards have a bunch of hoods open. At least the ones I've been to. Now, there has been several that keep them closed just to keep them from getting weathered and everything else or other people getting into them. But, okay. I'm not seeing it here. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and show you what I think it is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump back into the picture. I'm going to go down to like 50 to 100% so you guys can use the magnifier. Because that's where it really becomes valuable in, in pictures like this. But anyway, one here... To be honest with you, it's got that weird same shape as like a, the old Chargers, like the 70s, 71s, stuff like that. It's got that weird back window, side window right here, the door. Just barely see the, the front wheel, the back window here, and there's the trunk and everything else right there. Okay. Right here is either two things. Either it's a front clip of a car, this darker gray area, because look, you got this weird wheel well, and there's the wheel. Looks like a headlight. Okay. But then you look back behind it, it looks like right here it comes up. Come, uh, comes across rather right behind this one comes across and looks like there's some kind of windshield right there and it could be part of that car this is all one right here you know there's one right here okay and it looks like you can just see the wheel right there but it looks like a right there okay this one is facing this way if you guys remember the old Nashes I think they were in the 50s and 60s the old Nash they're real small little little cars and they're boxy like this but it's got the wheel right there. You can see the almost squared off wheel well. And it's got a wheel right there. And here's the roof to it. Like this would be the front windshield, roof, side window. Like this would be the driver's side. This would be your door. But it's facing this way. As opposed to this one looks like it's going upward. It's facing this way. This one's going down this way. And this one's doing the same. Now, when you go over to this one here on the right, it looks like a, the top of a roof. Okay, here's the roof. Looks like a separation between a back window, or side back window rather, and then of course you really can't see the front one. And then this is the rear win window right here. So it looks like a car right there. This kind of blew my mind. I don't, and not in a big way, but I mean as far as like, this looks like a dump body. If you've ever seen a dump truck, most people have. Um, see how like it comes up right here, it goes over like this, like this would be going over the actual cab of the truck. But it comes up. Over here, it goes across, goes back down, and goes across. But here's where it gets a little goofier, because there's white garbage or whatever is in the way, but it still continues on. See it right there? So now it makes you wonder, okay, is it part of a, another roadway? Is it, a, is it actually a dump? Is it, is it, a, it looks like a dump body. 
Um, is it possible it's just a structure? I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, it just... See how like it looks like this is either a a road right here or it is actually the god railing because you can see like separation. See it? One, two. This could have been like they came around a corner here, and you know I don't know because see how like they're all just kind of smashed together. Like one's going this way, one's going up this way, one's coming down this way. It's like they all just piled into each other, and that's what it looks like to me. Um, I answered another uh, one of my subscribers. He's saying, well, you know, it kind of looks like a junkyard. I said, okay, but if you've ever seen a major pileup like. Uh, like in a fog, uh, like on a fogged highway or icy roads, I mean, you just look at the, you know, just a mess when it's done. Like you get a 30, 40 car pileup. What does it look like? The cars are in every way you can possibly think of. They're off the road. They're, I mean, this is what it looks like to me. It looks like everything just kind of like, like I said, I mean, picture the world today here on Earth. Suddenly this, out of nowhere, this cataclysmic event happens. Well, people ain't going to be like, well, gee, let me get home. Let's say it just happens right then in front of their face kind of thing. Well, people just pile into it, and of course, you know, unfortunately, they'd be dead and everything, but anyway, it's just, I don't know, it's, now, is it possible it is a bunch of lined up cars in a junkyard? Sure. I can't prove either way. I can't. Um, now, it looks like there's another one right here, if you look, it looks like it's been covered, but you can see, like, a front of something, it looks like, just barely see the wheel, and there's the back wheel. And you can just see whatever it is, it's white right there, see it? And it looks like they just try to cover that up, but, <coughs> now, here is a different story. Um... Right here looks like this weird dome thing, and it's nice and smooth. It's got a, you know, like a hole or opening right there, and it goes across. Now, when I invert this, the reason why I invert this is to show you this right here. Look at this. See, it's got this little dome thing. So I don't know what that is, and it's kind of weird. It's connected to some kind of frame thing here. Um, I was trying to also find what they did as far as the manipulation. Now, if you look right here, and you'll see this. You guys can stop this any time, but when I... Just remember where I, what I'm telling you, different parts, so you can, once I shrink this down, meaning go back to 50 or 100%, you guys will remember and go back to your magnifiers and check this thing out yourself. Um, it actually looks like they got a, even inverting it, looks like this wheel, some kind of wheel, some kind of little egg-shaped kind of vehicle or some kind of manipulation. These are either manipulations, because it looks like it goes right across here. So if they put this kind of weird stripe on, that's why some things look distorted. They don't look right. You go, well, that doesn't look like a car. At least one of them don't. Well, it's not going to because they're trying to put like these, I don't know how to, like just picture putting a black marker through the whole front of, let's say, three vehicles in a picture and then, of course, fuzz it up and black and white it and, and, and there you go. So it's it's just the way they go about doing it that it's hard to tell what's what. But And there's, there's another car still in it at that top of the roof, separation of the window, back window right there, or rear window. Is whatever that is right here, and it still keeps going on over here. So I don't know what this is, but it's in the picture. And so wasn't this, because you can see the the wheel is now whited out, like ghosted out. So here's that other car, or at least the front wheel. Now watch. See it? It's right there. And here's the headlight. Now those are going to both be black. See it? Black and black center. Well, it'll be white because it was black as far as the wheel goes. See it? And the center was white. Well, that's going to be just the opposite, and this that's kind of almost whitish will be now dark. And it is. See it? But anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to show you. Now, this is the latest picture. And you guys can go back to my other videos, and you're going to go, man, this thing's changed 150 times. Exactly. But it depends on the manipulations that they do. They alter and change it. So, yeah, sometimes you see more um, details pop out, and some are very vague. Well, of course, most of these pictures are vague, but, um, but you get the idea. Um, all right, now let me just drop to 100% real quick. Um, and you guys can stop it anyway, you know that. Um, let me go back to the base picture, and you guys can eyeball this. I'm going to go through each step, and I think 50, when you use the magnify, go to about 200%. I tried 300%, and it seemed like it just distorted it. It didn't really work out too well. Um, let me see if it was the 50% here I had. I think that's a little too small, but you guys can still stop it. I'll do it this way, um, and we'll just go through it this way. And you guys can, like I said, uh, Check it out yourselves because you get a lot more detail with your magnifier than you do me zooming it in. Um, you lose a lot. You know, you get uh, picture degradation, the whole nine yards. Um, okay, and here's the inversion. Okay, now I'm going to do it the uh, 100%. And you guys can tell me what you got. Because um, like I said, guys, I mean, sometimes you just see things in a different way. Like I did with that, um, um, as I'm talking, I'm going to just go through these steps. Um, I noticed like in those those car pictures, like on the roads... Depending on how you look at it, that other car jumped in, it jumped out at me. The one that was in front of the main car, I'm going to call it. Um, it seemed to jump out at me. And that's how I said, because I even said this before. I said, it looks like 
some kind of, like it's hit something. Remember, because I said the front end looks like it got bent up or broken up. It might have hit something. Well, sure in the heck, there's another car sitting right in front of it. So, um, I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I said, I've been clicking along. You guys can just, and here's the final one. If you guys want to just stop it here and look it over and then invert it. And you can see where that little, like, dome type thing and something else here. And there's some other stuff here. But check this thing out, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it's just the latest picture, and I just want to show you how much things change in this this south part of, uh, you know, Mount Sharp. It just doesn't make sense. But I just figured I'd let you guys look at it. Maybe I'm seeing things differently. Maybe you guys will see it a little bit clearer. Um, you can tell me what you think it is. You know how it works, guys. You guys, my subscribers, you guys are great. You know what I'm talking about, and you know exactly what to go after. And a lot of you guys are hardcore on this, and um, I've got my skeptics, which is great. Because that's what I want. It, it kind of keeps me from thinking, you know, well, you know, they're not just going with the flow. Uh, because a lot of them, they disagree, and that's fine. Uh, because, you know, they're telling me, and sometimes I look at it and go, I'll be dumb if they're not right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's learn it. Let's let's learn the truth, man. That's what it's all about here. Um, I may not know what everything is, or, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you my idea what I think it is. And like I said, you guys uh, throw it back at me, tell me what you think it is. And that's pretty much it. Um, but we can, I think we can all agree that picture does not look like the other. I mean, it's totally, totally different. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's crazy how this just shows one side. It looks almost like mountains. The other side, not so much. And these are the same areas. That's what doesn't make any sense. So if you disagree with me on what I say these are, whether they're vehicles, call them structures. Like I said, call them Humpty Dumpty for all I care. Why is it being changed so often? That's the point. That's what I'm trying to bring out and make people aware of. So with that, guys, hey, as always, guys, I always do appreciate you guys watching, man. Um, I'm going to let you guys rock and roll. I just wanted to share that with you, and i got more videos coming up. I uh, just figured I had a little bit of time, so I figured I'd share with you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. do appreciate it, and I will see you next pick.